Hello students, welcome to Easy Alimu Learning Simplified. I am your teacher, Mr. Stanley Umbogo. So dear students, uh, allow me to take this opportunity uh, to take you through an area in grammar and that is infinitives. So uh, infinitives uh, is uh, one of the uh, you know topics of grammar that we have in uh, Form 3 work. So an infinitive is a type of verbal consisting of the word to uh, plus a verb, meaning that there is a verb added uh, to the word to. So the examples of infinitives that we have, dear students, are uh, to fly, to enter, to catch, to belong, to become, to draw, to stand, and uh, uh, so on. So if you uh, keenly study the uh, six examples that we have given, you will realize that we have the verbs fly, enter, catch, belong, become, draw, and uh, stand. So to make uh, uh, infinitives, uh, we have added uh, the verbs, those verbs that have mentioned to the word uh, to that now uh, changes uh, its, uh, you know, uh, uh, function. So the verb that is used here, uh, dear students, and this is something you should note uh, down. So the verb uh, that uh, is used uh, when uh, forming these infinitives should be in uh, the simplest stem forms. So again, looking at uh, the examples above, those verbs are uh, verbs that are in their simplest uh, stem form. Now, let us uh, narrow down to the nitty gritties. That is by looking at uh, the various functions of infinitives. So talking about uh, functions of in, uh, infinitives, dear students, an infinitive uh, can function as a noun, an adjective, or an adverb uh, in a sentence. So uh, here are a few examples that we have in sentences. The first example, everyone wanted to live. The second example, to swim, is my hobby. Then the third example, you lack the strength uh, to resist. So looking at the three uh, examples in sentences, uh, dear students, you realize uh, that in the first sentence, we have got the infinitive to leave. In the second sentence, we have the infinitive to swim. And in the third sentence, we have the infinitive uh, to resist. And uh, again, an infinitive uh, can function in sentence uh, as a subject of a verb. So if we have it, uh, you know, uh, if we have an infinitive in a sentence functioning as a subject of a verb, then it means that uh, it is the performer. It is the performer of the action. So here is an example. To cry is what I hate most. To cry is what I hate most. Another uh, another uh, use is that it can function as an object of uh, a verb. So remember, the uh, subject, that is the subject is the doer or the performer of an action, uh, whereas the object is the receiver of an action. So here's an, a, a sentence that is, uh, uh, you know, indicating how an infinitive can be used as an object of a verb. So she wants to go. She wants uh, to go. So looking at that sentence again, the infinitive that we have there is uh, to go. And another thing, something that you'll realize is that when it is used as a subject of a verb, uh, it is placed at the uh, uh, first, uh, that is at the first part or in front of the, uh, of the verb. Uh, and if it is used now as the, uh, or as an object of a verb, it is placed at the last part of a sentence. So used as a subject, it appears uh, or it comes at the first place in a sentence. When used as an object, it uh, appears at the last uh, part of a sentence. So another use is that uh, an, an infinitive can be used as a subject complement. Uh, so uh, for example, uh, my dream is to fly. My dream is to fly. So. My dream is to fly. To fly is an infinitive that has been used in this case as a complement. And again, 
it uh, says something about uh, the dream. So uh, another thing is that uh, we can have it uh, used as an adjective. We can have an uh, infinitive used an, as an adjective, sorry, in a sentence. For example, he lacks the skill to swim. He lacks the skill uh, to swim. So remember, adjectives are uh, describing uh, words, or we can say that there are words that give more information about, uh, uh, you know, uh, whatever is being talked about in a sentence. So in this case, when we say that, uh, let, let me use a name instead of a pronoun, that is John lacks the skill to swim, to swim is now uh, used uh, descriptively. So it describes uh, that skill that John lacks. So Dear students, here are some, uh, you know, examples uh, that we can uh, try there in question form. So rewrite each of the following sentences using the verb in uh, brackets. And again, we are instructed to be careful not to change the meaning of the sentence. So uh, the first sentence is, I started reading. So the verb that we are, uh, we are given in bracket is uh, read. I started reading. The verb in bracket is uh, read. So if we are to rewrite it, that is uh, using the verb that we are given or the verb that is provided without changing the meaning, then uh, it is okay to say, I started to read. I started to read. So the next uh, question, he stopped smoking. He stopped smoking. Again, the verb given in bracket is uh, smoke. So if we are to rewrite that again, uh, now using an infinitive, then the sentence uh, will read, he stopped uh, to smoke. The next one is uh, writing is more difficult than reading. Uh, the two verbs that are provided there are write and read. So if again, if we are to uh, rewrite that, we will have to write is more difficult than to read. Then uh, the last sentence uh, that we have is uh, jogging is a good exercise. Jogging is a good exercise. Again, the verb in bracket that is provided is jog. So there we will have uh, to jog. jog is a good exercise. To jog is a good exercise. So dear students, uh, that marks the end of our session. And uh, thank you so much for watching till the end. And remember to always... Keep it easy limo. Until next time, bye.